What's up, God? I'm Ashley Gillard. I'm intuitive, medium, empath. <laughs> um, they call it psychic. I get messages and dreams from my ancestors. And I also use the tarot to, you know, get message from my spirit self, my feminine energy. And I also receive dreams um, and from my connections in the spirit room leading giving me answers and leadership and guidance so today i just decided to do a reading on kevin hart we haven't heard from him we haven't heard from his team and we haven't heard from his family and that was he was on my mind and i just wanted to check in with his spirit check in with him to see how he's doing right now we know that he had a car accident a very bad car accident I'm not listening to the news reports um, because no official one has really said what's wrong. So I just wanted to do a little um, spiritual reading on him. Very quick, non-intrusive, but, you know, giving us some information as to what's going on with him. So the first card, let's start with the overall energy. We have the emperor on the bottom of the deck. The emperor at the bottom of the clarifying deck. I'm sorry. This is about... A solid foundation, but hard work, determination, dedication towards your goals, being the one that's the provider for the family, and we know this about him, being the one that is developing and, and making sure that everything is going as planned, that money is good, working hard towards your goals, maintaining that masculine provider energy, stability and security for the family. Then we have Eight of Cups in the Fool as the overall energy as well. And we have the Eight of Pentacles under there. So this is needing to walk away from something potentially work-related. Needing to walk away from that and having faith or trying to have faith. And I believe based on the cards that came out for this reading, he's struggling to have faith as it pertains to walking away from, you know, maybe life as it was before. Because, again, we're in that emperor energy. Because he wants to be the provider for his family. He wants security, stability, a solid foundation for himself and his family. So it's how he's having a hard time to keep the faith right now. Because of the situation, the car crash threatened that solid foundation. Then we have the seven of wands. This is Kevin. Kevin is fighting for his life. Fighting for life as he knew it. Um, I'm not saying that he's like on a deathbed. I, I didn't ask that. Um, <clears throat> I'm saying that he's in the fight. In the hospital, it could be, you know, for his health. Yes, of course he's fighting for his health. He had a car accident. For his family. For his life. He's in the fight right now. And he's having a hard time dealing with it. <clears throat> Next, we have the Ten of Swords. It's like, <coughs> excuse me, guys, I got a bug <coughs> that I'm trying to get rid of. I need to take a hot toddy with um, some rum and get rid of it. Anyway, so we have this Ten of Swords signifying things need, like, endings and new beginnings. So, and look how hurtful it is. This ending, so hurtful, like, so sudden and so hurtful. If you recall, there was a picture that he posted on his social media. And I'll show you guys here because it just proves that life can change for better or for worse. And sometimes it, it seems like it's for worse, but, you know, don't I don't say don't question the spirit or life. It could seem like something bad, but it really could be opening a door for new beginnings that are so much more better than what's been before. Even if before was amazing. Maybe it's time to transition into another phase of life. And that could be what's going on with him. But anyway, he's in a fight for his life. Things are ending, but it's also new beginnings. That may not be pleasant for him because it's a lot of neck, you know, it's a lot of air energy. Anxiety is in here. Entrapment is in here. Com um, conflict is in here. So it's like conflicting energy and, and negative energy. Fighting that negative energy. Trying to have faith, but knowing that things are ending. As it was before. But let me show you the picture. So anyway, as you can see in the picture, you know, life can be great one day and, and challenging the next. Or challenging one day and great the next. So you just take it one day at a time and do the best you can every day. 
you know i love this video i saw it's like people are doing the best they can so that's all you can do is every day put your best foot forward but anyway <clears throat> this ending is very hard for kevin this ending of a cycle of life ending of a lifestyle ending of the way things were it's he's taking it very hard so he's in his head about it you know heavy um However, he's thinking right now. I don't know what his state is. I don't know if he's awake, but I know the energy that I'm getting from spirit is worry. It's it's not it's entrapment in your thoughts, because then we have the eight of swords, feeling trapped, um, not knowing what to do, just not being in good energy. <clears throat> and we know Kevin to be in good energy. Um, the energy right now is not so good. Because, again, this is an ending. He's fighting for his life, and his faith is being severely tested. It's important for him to provide for his family. It's important for him to be needed. As a cancer, cancers need to be needed. It's important for him to be needed. And it's, you know, the fact that this even happened is testing that or challenging that position that he has as the emperor in his family, as the, the breadwinner, as the person that handles things for his family. So this ending or this new phase that he's entering is entrapping him in his mind. It's like, <clears throat> how do I move forward from here? Um, how do I live? What is life like from here? So he's regaining the will, learning how to regaining regaining his faith i don't want to say the will to live but regaining faith then we have the king of swords um this is making clear decisions and i'm like well what clear decisions are being made these decisions are pertaining to his fortune we have the wheel of fortune and the seven of swords uh, you seven of sword energy is like a deceiver, a thief. Someone trying to take something that's not there. And with the Wheel of Fortune, it's like some people or, you know, energy is trying to take his fortune away. So clear decisions are being made to secure the bad, to secure the fortune, to make sure affairs are in order. I'm not saying, I'm not predicting, I do not let me make this very clear. I, I am not putting the energy out of death. I'm not manifesting any death type energy. Whatever happens is meant to happen. It will happen. I am not putting that energy out there, nor do I want to predict something like that or be the one to know stuff like that. So <clears throat> I'm making this very clear. When any, All of us need to have our affairs in order. At any moment, anything can happen. We need to know who's going to be the go-to person, who's going to make decisions on our behalf, where our things, our assets are going to go, who's going to take care of our liabilities, who's going to make decisions on our behalf. That stuff needs to be done anyway. Life insurance policies, like all of that. Who's going to take care of our kids? How much money is allocated to our children? How much is allocated towards the people who's taking care of our children? That stuff needs to be taken care of. I don't care if you live to be 100. From day whatever, 20, or whatever day you decide to insure your life, the day you start taking care of yourself till the day you die, you should have something in place just in case something happens. Not manifesting anything on my behalf or his behalf as it pertains to death or anything like that. Anyway, <clears throat> King of Swords, Will of Fortune, Seven of Swords, making clear decisions as it pertains to who, you know, the allocation of his forms, his fortune, his funds, his life, decisions as it pertains to his life. Um... And not allowing anything to be taken away from him or for him to be taken advantage of or any of it to be stolen in any way. So making clear decisions. And then it kind of changes here, which is weird. Um, but it just changes a little here. We have the hermit, <clears throat> which is Virgo season. Interesting. We're in Virgo season. This happened during Virgo season. So is the hermit Virgo season or is the hermit the light? But what I'm getting is with the Empress and the Three of Wands is 
creation. You know, the three of wands resonates with the will to, I'm sorry that I keep saying live, but the will to begin again. Yes, that I'll say that because that's what it says on Toke. The will to begin again, creativity, you know, to create projects and to get back in alignment with your creative self. He's very creative. So it's, you know, regaining a period of time of regaining the will to begin again in this new way of living, you know, the new him. <clears throat> How do I begin again? And this could be his energy, his family's energy. It's just picking up themselves. Um, how, could, how do we begin again? as a unit, as a family? How do we come together and how do we individually begin again after this? This is a new life for us. This is a challenge for us to overcome. We need to make sure, or you know, we are increasing faith as it pertains to how to live or the will to begin again. And this could be future energy as well. It doesn't have to be like right now. It's, it could be future energy, but it's like, how do I begin after this? And having the will to begin again. Again, overall energy is faith. And, you know, walking away from a period of time. Walking away from a life that he once had or his family once had. <clears throat> then we take another turn here and we have conflict going on with the five of swords. So I'm like, what is this conflict? And... To clarify, we got a transition. First of all, conflict started by the transition. We know that there was endings, and be, you know, there's an ending here, and fighting, and he's fighting for to, you know, standing his ground, and trying to fight for life. But there's a transition here. <clears throat> the Ace of Swords is like a breakthrough. It could be a breaking of patterns. It could be something breaks through. During this transition, there's a breakthrough. But then here's the devil popping up. So it could be mental clarity after a time. After this transition, it could give him some sort of clarity. <coughs> as it pertains to codependencies, as it pertains to, it could even be a karmic situation, previous family members. But anyway, or codependencies. Now, the devil stands for codependencies, <clears throat> Capricorn. But it also stands for, um, or is the devil Capricorn a Scorpio energy? It's Capricorn. Um, yeah. But um, this is mental clarity as it pertains to... A codependency. Codependency can be drugs. Codependency could be alcohol. I'm not calling him a drug addict. I'm not calling him an al um, alcoholic. Um, <clears throat> all I'm saying is he's going to gain mental clarity as to something that he's codependent on. It could be sex. It could be anything. We all, some, a lot of us have codependencies that we have to overcome. Money is a codependency. If it overcomes you, if yeah, if it's it's taking over you and you're addicted, that's a codependency. Work can be a codependency. It's like something you need to feel valued, but really your value is intrinsic. You shouldn't need this external thing to feel valued. But anyway, we're gaining strength after gaining mental clarity about you know a codependency that he had, or that the family may even had after this transition. They are all probably codependent on him. So it could be either his energy or the family's energy going through this transition, having conflict with each other or with them themselves as it pertains to this transition, but also growing and gaining mental clarity as it pertains to this codependency. I, I, I believe they're all codependent on him. I don't know that personally, but I can just imagine he's the breadwinner. He's the emperor of the family. He's the, the glue stick, you know, he's the glue. Anyway, after this transition, going to the mental clarity about these codependencies and, and regaining the strength. Just regaining the strength to overcome. Regaining the will again to begin again. Gaining the will to begin again. Then we have the justice at, as the last card. <coughs> 
So the justice card, um, what I'm getting from the justice card is in the end, it'll all work out. Could, could things may go to court, but in the end, it all, it would all have worked out. I am hoping this is in court because if clear decisions have to be made here and in court here, that's kind of like what the fuck is going on. Seriously, we want to hold on to Kevin Hart. So, but here with justice, it's things eventually will work out for him and the family. Decision as it pertains to a union. So maybe there are some <clears throat> decisions as it that needs to be made as it pertains to a marriage, a partnership. Um, that's gonna be handled here. Then. Standing ground, standing ground, somebody standing their ground and making clear decisions. So someone um, will fight for something and a decision will be made after the fight. So this is two cards for decision. First is the decision about marriage. First of all, it's the justice card being clarified. Justice can't attune to the court system. But it's like a decision being made as it pertains to family. Standing your ground, fighting for what you believe, making clear decisions after that. Then we have the chariot, which is forward movement. Sorry if you can't see this. The chariot is also about winning the battles or fight a fight. There is a fight here. But, you know, things also move forward because it's a fight and justice. So I'm thinking... Yeah, decisions will need to be made. Yes, people are going to be standing up for themselves and standing their ground. And as it pertains to union, as it pertains to a marriage, and as it pertains to the decisions that were made probably here. Because the King of Swords was already here. And then we have the King of Pentacles and the Three of Pentacles. Um, synergetic results. Um, securing the bag on exponential, level, on exponential levels. So the bag will be secured for someone. I don't know what this is about. But it is law-based. It's about people fighting. And it's about people setting their ground and decisions being made. But in the end, someone's securing the bag on exponential levels. And there we have it. There is the reading on Kevin Hart. What are your thoughts? Like, subscribe, comment, tell me what you think. Um... Thank you for watching. Please support me. And I say this in all of my videos. No um, special treatment or I'm not only doing this because it's a video about Kevin Hart. Who knows if anybody's going to watch this. But anyway, <clears throat> please support me in my effort. I just created a fitness line starting with hoodies, crews, and tees. That, in gym culture, we work out. You know, I don't know if this is an army thing or what, but we work out in hoodies and we work out in crews to get a better workout. When I work out in a hoodie... A gym body hoodie, I get a better workout as if going to the gym in a t-shirt, but sometimes I also do that as well. But help me in my pre-order, not pre-order, order effort. I'm trying to get to 60. It would be nice if I got your support. I wish you love. I wish you life. I wish you light. And I wish you more life. Peace. Thank you for watching. Please help me meet my 60 order goal for this week. For gym body TMC gym hoodies that help you work out and get a better workout in the gym. That website is gymbodytmc.com. Thank you.